Halloween month, the Mistress of Horror here, author D.L. Tillery, and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, how about you press that subscribe button, hold that like to the end because maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't, and ring that bell so you know when I'm uploading new videos. I thought I would give you an early Halloween gift. Let's jump into it. I'm going to give you five movie titles and five horror video game titles. The first one I'm going to recommend is number one is going to be Alan Wake Remastered. It's actually a story about a writer and he pretty much gets pulled into his own world so to speak and it's very horror-esque monsters, the darkness, very good story, very interesting to play, has a teen rating there as you can see. But yes, Alan Wake is the number one I am recommending for you for Halloween. Number two, Until Dawn, has an M rating as you can see there. Until Dawn situates around a group of, I'm not sure I want to call them friends, um, a group of people that are, um, up on the mountains, in the cabin, and there are things going down, and you get to play with all the characters, really. It's kind of switches back and forth, depending on the sequence, depending on whose turn it is, so to speak. People could die or live, it really depends on your choices. This is a very fun and interesting one to play, and if you don't usually play video games, it's a nice one to get into for your newbies. Number two on my list is a Cthulian, or should I say cosmic horror, video game. This one is called Sinkin' City. Obviously, it gives it away. See, there's like a little tentacle there at the bottom. There's something otherworldly back there in the background. Obviously, this is right up my alley with cosmic horror because I love me some cosmic horror. If you're interested in any of these, just simply Google them and look them up and see what the stories are. I don't really want to give anything away, but definitely check this one out if you are into cosmic horror. Number four I'm going to recommend is Little Hope. This series is awesome if you're a horror fan. If you're not into video games, then I don't know. I, I don't really know many people that don't play video games in some shape or form. Um, I'm just more of a console gamer, but anyway. Little Hope is really cool. You go through a town, there's some unexplained things going on. You again have different characters that you play with. Um, they pick the characters you're playing with in sequence at the time. So it's very interesting, good horror play. Little Hope, check it out if you haven't yet. And then Man of Medan is number five. This is made by the same team, um, company that made the um, Little Hope. And this one is, um, happens on a ship, actually. And it has, so it has, like, water-based creature kind of things that happen. Um, so, this one's psychological for sure. So, and it, it's really blurry because of that. But it is called Man of Medan. You can look up any of these. I will actually have them down in the description as well for you. If you're interested in checking them out. Alright, so now I have five horror movies that you could look and chill out on Halloween for. So let's go. Number one is going to be one of my highly recommended horror movies in the cosmic horror genre, The Mouth of Madness. This is a H.P. Lovecraft, based off of H.P. Lovecraft story. You are into cosmic horror and the unknown, the unexplainable, then check this movie out if you have not seen it. Again, I will leave the names in the comments for you if you want to go Google it and check it out. Number two on my horror list for this year, Ghost Story 1982. Had to specifically say 1982. Ghost Story. Ghost Story is well overused, just so you know. So when you look it up, look for Ghost Story 1982. This one is a classic. I look at it every year for Halloween. I look at it before Halloween. It's a really good one. Number three on my list is The Fog 1980. Again, I gave the year because it's a well-used word together. The Fog. Not to mention they remade this one, which was lame, by the way. As a lot of remakes tend to be. Um, so the 1980 
The Fog, in my opinion, is better and a very good classic. So I watch that one every year, usually, even if I'm not doing a ghost apparition theme like I am this year. So check out The Fog 1980 if you want to be scared and you might not like The Fog after this. Number four on my list for you for Halloween is Ringu. Ringu would be the original. I prefer the Japanese version. Um, Japanese horror, that is actually quite creepy. They do it very well in Japan. So um, check out Ringu if you haven't seen it. I'm not sure where you've been if you haven't seen Ringu and Ringu 2. I will put the titles again in the description for you. And last on my list for movies for Halloween this year is Sleepy Hollow. It falls in the horror genre just because of the subject matter, but it's, I mean, who doesn't need a little bit of Johnny Depp for Halloween? You know what I'm saying? So, if you don't know what Sleepy Hollow is, like, how could you not know what Sleepy Hollow is? Like, you were here on the Mystical Horror Channel, you must know what Sleepy Hollow is, and Johnny Depp's just a dream. So, those two things together. If you must know, Sleepy Hollow is based off of the Headless Horseman story, and Johnny Depp plays Ichabod Crane. This is also a classic story, and done, and this is not a newer movie by any stretch of the word, because newer horror, let's face it, it's not as good as the older horror that came before it. So get prepared for Halloween, because it's just around the corner, and as I always say, stay scared.